I never liked rooftop tents until I bought this and I laid my eyes on this. Let me elaborate. I always thought that rooftop tents are bulky. They don't look good with all this fabric laying around, flapping around in the wind. And especially in a weather like Dubai, it gets this color very quickly. And then I saw the video online on how to open. You have to untie this, you have to open this. Then there is the um, string, then there is the ribbon, then there is the cord, then you know, I said, okay, not for me, that's crazy. And also I wanted to have my center of gravity low. I am an FJ cruiser. I do dune bashing. I like to cross the crest and do all these type of things. I cannot put something on my rooftop. Then the fuel economy with the rooftop tent gets uh, always a little bit worse. So what changed? Mainly two things. The first, as you can see, is that I bought this amazing 1984 Land Cruiser FJ45. So now things like uh, fuel economy and waste distribution are no longer a problem because it has already a very bad fuel economy and a very bad distribution of the weights. So if I want performance, if I want to beat the dunes, I go with the FJ Cruiser. If I want to have something relaxed and enjoy this uh, old time feeling, I use this. And then there is the second aspect, that this is a hard shell rooftop tent. So no longer the problem of the fabric flapping around, no more the problem of the discoloration, no more the problem of the bad boxy look because you see it has a beautiful aerodynamic shape. Not that this car really needs some aerodynamic, but it's, it's good to see. This is the ARB Esperance rooftop tent. It's their last model. The first model, finally, ARB made a hard shell rooftop tent. And today I will show you all the characteristics of these tents. I will show you how it's installed, how it's mounted, what you can do, how long it takes to open, to close, the rain cover, the LED lights. I will show you everything that you need to know. If uh, I don't cover some uh, topic and you need more information, write it in the comments and I, will, uh, and I will help you. So you will take your decision and decide if buying it or not. Full disclosure, I had this tent from ARB with the purpose of shooting a review. This doesn't mean that I will say, oh, it's amazing, blah, blah, because I am very, I'm a very serious person. <laughs> when I don't like something, I simply don't take it from a brand or I simply say, no, 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 I will not review it. Take it back, don't waste your time. So let's see if there are pros, if there are cons, what I like, what I don't like, what is amazing, what could be done better. Let's see. First, the installation. The installation was very easy because the tent comes with the four C-shaped or U-shaped brackets that are easily movable back and forth on this rail. So you can really mount it on everything. I made this uh, custom bracket because uh, I didn't like the ones that were already in the market, but uh, I think it can be easily installed on every roof rack. So installation, ease of installation, good. External look and material. It looks very premium because it is premium. The materials seem very sturdy. I like it. I like how it's uh, shiny. I like the shades of, uh, of gray, of black. It looks very good. And the line is very aerodynamic. Not that I need it in this car, but uh, it's a plus. So appearance and external materials, very good. Now we will see how long it takes to open and what are the steps necessary to open it. We do it together. I will uh, not cut the scenes. We do everything in one take. So you can see in real time how long it actually takes. So let's go. First of all, you have these uh, three straps, I would say, to unlock simply with the pressure of a finger. You unlock one, you unlock two, you unlock three. Once you unlock, you can simply push up. There are some hydraulic pistons that already will bring it up for you. Then you open the ladder, you pull it out, you extend it. Woo, you jump. And you see that now the tent open fully. It took me a while to figure out what is the uh, right way of uh, uh, blocking the ladder. So this is something that I still will have to, to learn a little bit. Okay, I made it. <laughs> I will still have to learn because the instruction, there are a couple of English words that I didn't get, so they explain how to lock. The important thing is that you 
with these locks you put the step you put the ladder in a way that the weight of this part is sustained by the ladder itself so the ladder doesn't have to be loose as you can see we have pockets where you can put uh, your shoes where you can put whatever you want pockets on the side you saw that it really took like a few seconds to open now the tent is ready there is already a mattress inside uh, four centimeter mattress and i already left the pillows from last camping inside so the tent is ready it's almost as fast as a pop-up tent but it already includes a mattress and the pillows of course you can go fancier and open the side windows and put the rain cover so i will show you how to do it let's go here we have the entrance of the tent it is the main window it's very easy to open the zippers you can roll it and hold it in place there is a mosquito net is made of mesh not of transparent plastic so very good and now i will show you the side windows let's go two hooks keep in place this fabric this fabric can also be removed if you don't want it as you can see there is a zipper you can roll it up so you can have this rolled if you want the normal window or what i like to do is to keep it down Take the rods and voila, look how cool it is. And there is also another in the other side. So now I have two windows on the side and one in the entrance. And there is more because we also have, uh, they call it the stargazing uh, roof, stargazing window, I don't know. Let's see, I will show you. Look at this, it's amazing. You can have an opening on the roof so you can see the stars because the mesh also is transparent, but you can also live without the mesh and just enjoy the sky. Look at this beautiful sunset, it's so romantic, oh my God. I love it. It feels like being on a tree house. <laughs> really. I love the elevated position of the fact that there are uh, two, three windows and one entrance. So you also enjoy the, the fresh breeze. You have a beautiful view on the sunset on one side. You can see the sky. It's very nice. I show you what I see from my point of view. I have the stargazing roof. Now there are uh, no stars, but when there will be, I will gaze them or I will, I don't know. Is that a real verb? Then I have first window, second window with the view on the sunset and the entrance with view on Alex. Yes! Amazing! All this in the same tent. As you could see, opening the tent in its uh, most basic form really took uh, maybe 20 seconds. Uh, opening in the full fancy setup might take probably three minutes in total and it's still less than opening a normal tent. And I will say it again, I love this feeling that you are in a sort of uh, tree house and it makes uh, camping a little bit more fun. The tent also comes with a rain cover that I never use, so I will do it now for the first time. I understand that there is a zipper that goes here. I'm doing a super honest uh, rain cover installation because I never installed it before, so I'm figuring it out uh, on the go. So, yes, if I, but I'm sure that if I train a little bit more, it will take 
less. Let's see. Yes. It's basically like opening the other windows. You just have an additional zipper. And the rain cover is installed. How long did it take? I don't know. Three minutes, maybe. Of course, with the rain cover on, you cannot watch the stars, but you get cover from the rain. I camped a few nights ago. The weather was very humid. When I woke up in the morning, there was a little bit of condensation, especially on the top part of the tent. So I assume that the sides of the tent that are exposed from the rain cover are more waterproof while the top and the front a little bit less maybe a little bit of a lighter material but i assume that with the full rain cover on you can uh, safely camp in the rain i didn't try yet so if you follow me on instagram you will see i will probably camp in the rain one day and i will be very honest about it and uh, overall it's very fast also with the rain cover and uh, i like the materials and it seems that this rain cover will uh, do the job i didn't test it yet but i assume that it will do the job Another cool feature of this tent is that it comes with the LED strip outside and LED strips inside. Uh, you can plug them to the lighter, to the cigarette lighter or with a power bank. I tried a couple of power banks, some work, some don't. I don't know what are the specifications, but be careful because some power banks might work, some not. So to be on the safe side, I plug it inside the car in the cigarette lighter. Once plugged, you have this remote that you can use to turn the light on. You can regulate the intensity, so you can go from uh, less bright to more bright. I don't know how much you see now in the, in the daylight, but I cannot stay till the night because Alex is expensive, so we'll have to bring him back. <laughs> but I can show you the inside. As you can see, also the LED that is inside can be set to a brighter level or a less bright level. So it can be just a little bit of uh, atmosphere light in case you need atmosphere in a tent. I don't know why you would need atmosphere in a tent, but if you need it, you can create it. And I really like it. So, LED lights, for me, is a plus. Very positive. There are a few factors to consider when you install this tent. When the ladder is not locked properly, the weight of this part of the tent, it's on, basically on nothing. So you have to become a little bit familiar with the locking system. Another thing, it's important to have the ladder on a surface that did not sand. Why? Because otherwise it sinks and you lack the support. What do you do if you want to camp in the sand? Probably you can just put a wooden plank. It's a little bit of uh, something to remember. No big deal, but remember. Another thing to consider is that a rooftop tent is not stable. It's not as sturdy as a tent on the floor, of course. It's only as strong as your suspension. So if for some reason you are a person that makes a lot of movement at night in the tent. I don't know why you would want to make movement in a tent, but if you do it, be aware that it will be very, very, very shaky, and at first it can be a little bit scary. If you saw my Salala video, you might remember that I slept one night on a mountain and it was extremely windy, and I was really afraid of sleeping in a tent, even if the tent was on the floor, even if I uh, tied the tent to the car and I put the stones in front of the car, and still, I was a little bit scared. Maybe a rooftop tent that can withstand a strong wind can be the type of tent that only opens on one side. Maybe, I'm not sure, but for sure, a tent that opens and then opens again and has a large uh, section of fabric exposed to the wind might not be the best choice for a strong wind. So, if you plan to camp for, I don't know, 10, 15 days and travel, maybe bring with you a tent with a lower profile, just in case. Speaking of size, the tent is perfect for two adults. It can be still good for two adults and one kid, two adults and two kids, but not more than this. But one thing that is sure is that this tent is super stylish. Oh my God, I love it. Look at this, it's so beautiful. I love the contrast between the high-tech materials and the shiny hard shell and the rusty old vintage truck. It will not look as good probably with a normal car. I don't know, maybe I'm biased. So what I will do now, I will go out of the frame and leave you to the beauty of this car with this tent with a sexy music. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Now it's time to close the tent. I suspect that it will take 
three, four minutes to close it probably. So we will do everything in one take, but I will fast forward so you will not have to see every blah, blah, blah. blah. Let's go. It took a few minutes, I will say maybe four, five, I don't know, not an eternity. Still, of course, it's much easier to open than to close, but I'm very satisfied also with the time that it takes to close. In conclusion, I really like this tent. Uh, it gives me the idea that wherever I am, I can just uh, open and enjoy the camping. F-16. So in conclusion, I really like this tent. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like is the system of uh, the locking system of the ladder. I think it's not very intuitive, at least not maybe at the beginning. Maybe in uh, three or four uh, campings I will learn how to do it quickly, but for now it's still that part that gives me a little bit of uh, tension, like, okay, how do I do it? I'm gonna do it properly. I don't want to break the tent. But apart from this, it's amazing. It takes really no time to open, almost no time to close. You have the stargazing uh, uh, roof uh, opening. You have three windows that let you enjoy a nice uh, cross breeze when you are inside. Uh, it's very fun because it gives you this uh, idea of being in a tree house. It's spacious, it's sturdy. Now I close the tent and I left the rain cover on. So in a few days when I will go camp, I will try to see how it is and I'm sure that I will have less condensation because I mean, that's, what, that's why we have a rain cover. I also like the LED strips because uh, at least I avoid having uh, to bring a torch inside and create a little bit of clutter. And uh, small lights outside also allow you to create a little bit of, of atmosphere or maybe if you are camping and eating, it's, uh, it's okay, it's enough to light the table. So very positive. And in one month, I will travel for uh, seven, eight days. I will go around Oman. So I will test it in different conditions and I will uh, report about this. If you want to know more about this tent, follow me on Instagram, Luca Goes Off Road, because I will surely post a lot of Insta stories and post about this tent. You can ask me questions here below in the comment, or you can ask me questions under the post on Instagram. And uh, what else to say? Uh, it's been a pleasure, it's uh, time to go. It's night, I don't know if you still see me, if you don't see me, good for you, and see you soon.